Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl Kai. And we are chilling with Jay Reese, aka Jay the Monster. <laughs> Native hip hop artist, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma so, um, what we're gonna do is introduce your video, one of your videos, one of your songs. What one song video would you like the people to hear to get a feel for who you are as an artist? I just dropped a uh, hot record out here in the city. It's called Lonely Road, featuring uh, my boy Robbo, BCA from Louisiana. You know what I mean? So, uh, Lonely Road, y'all get in uh, tune with that. I think it's a record that's uh, surpassing a lot of records uh, nationwide, and I think it's a record that deserves to be heard. To the next location, but I'm on E with no service for some communication. Looking in my rear view and seeing how far I came. A lonely road, this a journey I can't even I've been explain. Down a lonely road, trying to see how far I go. Since I was young out here, man, I, I, I started actively recording in a studio in the year of 2004, 2005 is when I uh, started actively recording in the studio with my cousin Trap House uh, that was actually a little older than me, and he was out here uh, heavily doing music at the time as well. 
But yeah, I started actively recording music in the studio in two th uh, 2004, 2005. But I've been doing music out here, man, all my life. Yeah. All my life. And since I came out the womb, I've been doing music. Like, I've always been musically inclined. I've always been doing music. Like, I just always had that niche for being in front of people performing. Mm -hmm. Where did it come from? Did you grow up in the church house? Did you ever? I definitely grew up in the church. I'm a son of a preacher. Oh, uh, so I grew up in a church. I grew up singing in the church. Uh, I grew up just uh, always being that uh, center of attention. So mm -hmm. I thought I was Michael Jackson and MC Hammer when I was a little dude. <laughs> so, okay. so man, I always, I always thrived on performing, and it just, it was just always in me to be a, a star. Yeah, usually when I hear somebody say, I've always, since I was a little kid, it's always somebody that grew up in a church house, like. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, because a lot of, you know, Aretha Franklin, Patti LaBelle, Beyonce, like all these, Michael Jackson, you know, Prince, like, you know, all those people that were real religious, they close to music. Yes, you know most definitely, I mean? most definitely, most definitely. So, um, do you feel Arizona supports the hip hop community? Being that you're from out here, as long as, long as you've been doing it for, or? They support how they can support, you know what I mean? Like. I'm one person that had never rag, rag down on my city. Like, this where I'm from. I, I call myself Mr. Arizona. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, my city is what it is. My city is growing. You know what I mean? I didn't seen it from a, I didn't seen it from a pup. I didn't seen it from a pup. And where it's at right now, it's in good standings. It's, it's somebody soon that's about to really break loose in Arizona, somebody young, somebody fresh. And they're gonna be the ones that help artists like me that's becoming veterans mm -hmm. in this game that really uh, still got that good sound. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because here in Arizona, it's a lot of people that do music, but it's not a lot of people that do good music and mm -hmm. quality music. Mm -hmm. Every time my music is heard out of state or something, the first thing people say is, it don't sound local. Or mm -hmm. it don't sound this, it don't sound that, it don't sound like it's coming out of Arizona. And I'll be like, what do you mean? You know what I mean? I never, I never can get what the person means when they say it don't sound Arizona or it don't sound local. Because so, so many people here in Arizona, they try to mimic, they try to mimic so, so many other places instead of being themselves. And I think that's that's why Arizona be in a rocky state because people don't know how to identify Arizona. You know what I mean? But Arizona is people like me. People like Dub Fuego, you feel me? People like uh, Play Loco, you know what I mean? People like uh, 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 Young Young Face, you know what I mean? The real the real homegrowns, the uh, the Yo Westwoods, you know what I mean? That real the real the real homegrown sound. Like people don't get Arizona because they ain't trying to really tap into Arizona. You know what I mean? Yeah, I didn't know Arizona had a sound. Man, if you ask me, Arizona has a has a has a big sound mm -hmm. and. It has a sound that you can you can hear. You know what I mean? Anytime I hear Judge the Boss come on, any record, I know it's Judge the Boss. I know he's talking from an Arizona lingo, mm -hmm. from an Arizona state of mind. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Anytime I hear Yo Westwood or, or 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 Young Wax, I know that's Arizona. You know what I mean? Like Arizona does have a sound. Arizona does have a sound, it's the Southwest sound. Is yeah? It? Yeah, it's the Southwest sound. Well, so, so me being from Sacramento, a lot of people can confuse Sac with the Bay, but you know, we all listen to Bay music right there. So a lot of times I can hear artists in Detroit, and I'll think they're Bay Area artists. Because yeah. I've noticed but, but that you, certain artists, or not artists, certain music in certain places, they sound alike. But see, the uh, Detroit, Detroit and the Bay, they gel together. They do. You know it's what so I mean? Like, like a, a, lot, a, a, lot of, a lot of people don't know that. Like, I follow the Bay and uh, Sacramento gangster rap mm -hmm. heavy. Like, being in Arizona, we always, uh, well, at least from my hood, I'm from, I'm from Southside 40s. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We gravitated to uh, Sacramento gangster rap for some reason. Mm -hmm. That's what I grew up on. Mm -hmm. All Sacramento shit. Sebo, you know what I mean? Looney mm -hmm. Coleon, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, T Nutty. T Nutty used to come to my hood to fuck with my homie. Okay. You know what I mean? So I've been we've been fucking with the uh the Sacramento gangster shit for for the for the longest of time. So mm -hmm. that sack shit been in us in Phoenix. 
You yeah. know what I mean? On the south side, you know, that's where I'm from, that's where I reside. Okay. Uh but but yeah, Arizona do got a sound and uh we pick up we pick up from other places, but we got we got a sound. I I I, I always know if it's somebody from Arizona. Yeah. Especially if they on something authentic from Arizona because we got produ we got our own producers and everything. Right. So to say we don't have a sound is crazy. Like I've been rapping on main ingredient beats since I came since I came in this shit. Yeah. And he from right here in Arizona. Mm. His sound is Arizona. You know what I mean? And I and I and I spread my Arizona shit on his. Okay. If um, you had to describe the sound to somebody or put it into to words, what would you say it sounds like? Or it's gumbo. Gives. Okay. That's what Arizona is. Arizona is gumbo. You know, gumbo. You gotta start. You gotta. You gotta start with that root, right? Mm -hmm. You gotta start with that root. You gotta. You gotta rip, whip up that holy trinity. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Before you even get something. Right. It's gumbo. Arizona is a is a melting pot of a lot of shit. Uh, mo mo most our people, most our mo most us that's in Arizona, our people come from Louisiana, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. We got that South swing in us anyway. That's why I sound like this. Mm -hmm. People be like, why you sound like you from the South? Because all my people from the South. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This is the Southwest. Right. People people excuse us with the coast. The coast is where the uh the coast is where the uh is where the ocean at. Right. We we ain't by no coast. We, yeah. we, we this the Southwest. We mm -hmm. we got the both the best of both worlds. Yeah, a lot of people We got the West Coast, we got the West Coast, and then we got the South. Yeah, a lot of people say Arizona is the West Coast. It's not the West Coast. We the Southwest. Yeah. We the Southwest region, and we Southwest. Period. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, anybody that's an Arizona native, ask them where they people from. Mm -hmm. They gonna tell you Texas, Louisiana, or Oklahoma. That's where that's where a real person from Arizona. I know the real I know the real history on Arizona mm -hmm. from the first blacks to land at this motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's what I know, and that's where that's where we come from. We come from them places. We come from the South. We ain't from nowhere else. Okay. People from Arizona, like you can ask any one of my partners, do they got people in Texas? Do they got people in Louisiana? Do they got people in Arkansas? They gonna tell you, hell yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause that's where we, that's where, that's where our people come from. Okay, who would you say the top three artists that are out right now are to you? Like the top three, male or female, in, that are winning right now and they're really good? In the game? Yeah. Or in Arizona. In the game. In the game, I would say, uh, in the game, who, 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 who I, I don't know who winning because I ain't pocket watching. Well, so, not pocket watching, just who you hear on the radio, who you see their videos, who's doing their thing, who's making music right now. Who I like, mm -hmm. who I like, my artists that I like right now, they all pretty much up and coming and they shining, but I like, mm -hmm. I like Gorilla. I like oh, she's I, I like I like glitter gloss. Uh, I like I like the, I like a lot of the female rappers, man, yeah. because they going. I feel like I feel like the females are really running hip hop right now, mm -hmm. and I'm glad my queens are running hip hop because they have got so much stigma in the hip hop community, and not being able to shine just off their pure talents. And I feel like people like Gorilla, uh, Sexy Red, mm -hmm. them, them 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 queens is doing a goddamn thing, and I salute it wholeheartedly. And I'm all for it. So you, you know are not I mean? feeling all the uh, the the negative that people are putting out there about them about you know. It's their, always gonna be negative. Mm -hmm. It's always gonna be negative. They queens though, they can take that. Mm -hmm. They 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 got the they had the hardest man. They black queens at that. Mm -hmm. So they had the roughest. They had the roughest from the roughest from the beginning of the time. Right. And they gonna be able to withstand anything. Amen. So I'm all for them queens. I, I heavily salute them queens and. I'm a person that's driven. Uh, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dude that grew up with a strong black mother. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, I don't do nothing but praise the uh, the black woman. You know what I mean? Cause she, 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 she is worthy of praise. And I'm glad that they run in the game. And they, they, they by far are the ones who are holding up hip hop for us right now. Mm, that's deep. the women are killing it. Yeah, they killing it. No matter what. They they presume to be to to whoever's eye, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. To each his own. Make music. However, however you got to sell yourself, sell yourself. Just don't sell your soul. Right. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And get that bag. So 
I'm all for the women. Okay. Who would you say are uh, the top, who are your top three producers? Not anyone you worked with, but I'm just saying producers that have produced great bodies of music. My top three producers of all time mm -hmm. would be Timberland. Oh yeah, he's the bomb. I love Swiss Beats. Um, Justice League, I love them dudes. Uh, Zaytoven, uh, Jazzy Faye. Um, it's a lot of greats, man. Okay. So, what what would you say that your what are your top three songs that you've created if for the people here? Like your top three songs that you've created. My top three songs that I created. If you were in a room with some. What would I say? With, play. Yeah, with Timbaland and Swiss Beats. If they was in a room and they was like, let me hear three of your songs. What three songs would you pick? I'll probably pick. Moon by me and Jay Mola. And I pick I pick Lonely Road. I feel like Lonely Road is the best song coming out of Arizona right now. Mm -hmm. yes. Like just not even toot my horn. I just feel like with artistry, ain't nobody out here that's that's even on my level. Mm -hmm. Like I can do it all. I can sing, I can rap, I can I can just I can I can do everything like um, I'm a, I'm a real life I'm a real life uh, uh, <laughs> Ray Charles. So you feel like as long as you've been out here doing music, you've been kind of slept on for as great as you are. And Most definitely. You make. Most definitely. I feel like I feel like I'm heavily slept on, and when them people come in my realm and they paint with me on my canvas, they see I'm really Picasso. Mm -hmm. I'm really Picasso of this shit like. I'm I'm really somebody that can take this take this city take this state and put it on my back musically because I feel like my music is that big it's that great. Okay, well I look forward to seeing that you believe in yourself. I believe in you. So hopefully we can get some some culture and you know get the community together and do some that's reuniting a, and building. You know I what I mean. That, and that's another thing, and I don't mean to cut you off. Mm -hmm. Everybody talking about there's no culture here in Arizona or Phoenix doesn't have a culture. How could they have no culture when I'm from here? We got big culture. Mm -hmm. I'm from the south side of Phoenix. I can tell you all kind of stuff that's culturally influenced or that we did coming up. Mm -hmm. So when I hear people say Arizona has no culture or uh, Phoenix has no culture, I'm like, you're just not tapped in. You're a transplant. Mm -hmm. You're a transplant that's out here and you ain't been brought up in the culture. You don't know nothing about the peace festes that used to happen on South Mountain. You said the peace fest? Peace fest. Oh, okay. You don't know nothing about the march. That's that staples. Uh, you know, black people didn't have a lot of stuff to go to. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They don't know about choice of colors. Why do you know what why I mean? Do you think they don't know about J.D. Hall about because they ain't part of the culture. How do they get a part of the culture? Do you know what I'm saying? That's like, like me if I go to Atlanta right now. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of stuff in Atlanta that. I won't be in tune with because culturally I ain't been there. I ain't been there. I ain't grew up in Collie Park. I don't know about a parade that's about to happen in Collie Park. You know what I mean? I don't know about they turkey bowl or any of that because I'm not a part of the culture. Anywhere you go, you not if you're not a part of the culture, you're not a part of the culture. You gotta put your you gotta insert yourself. You know what I mean? Like it's heavy culture out here in Arizona. Mm -hmm. It's heavy culture in Phoenix. It's a whole lot of stuff for blacks to do. Mm -hmm. With blacks, if that's what they want to do it with. It's just you gotta you gotta you gotta be with the culture. Alright, well I wanna give you uh something that we give like to give all of our guests. R and B shirt. Right, right, you know, right. reuniting and building, that's what we're trying to do. So thank you so much for coming on. Why don't you tell the people where they can find you, your social media handles and all that good stuff. You can find me on every social media site, Twitter, uh, J. Reese the Monster, uh, Facebook, uh, Jonathan uh, Reese. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, J. Reese 40. So you can find me pretty much everywhere. My music is on Apple Music, Spotify. Uh, you can look me up under either J. Reese or J. Monster. You can find me on either one, either name. All right, perfect. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and thanks for coming. I appreciate you. See you guys next time.